Okay, so I was thinking about my what to wear and what not to wear. And um, I was thinking about when you're in jail, what to wear and what not to wear. If you're in jail and you're going to court, if you have someone to bring you clothes, you should have them bring you clothes to wear to court. However, I do see this happen way more often for men than I see it happen for women. I've been back in that bullpen, ready to go to court, where they keep you all downstairs. Um, one of the, it may have been the first time I ever met Emily, was in the bullpen. Um, and then you'll see people bringing in their suits. But I've never seen anything brought in for a woman and clothes were tried to brought in, people did try to bring clothes in for me for court and supposedly they said I could not have them. Who knows? But if you remember that massage parlor in Murraysville that got busted and I was in jail with Lee, um, the Chinese woman, which I may have mentioned in another video, and then there's another lady involved. I didn't see her in jail, but her husband was a prison guard at the Westmoreland County Prison, and after they got this massage parlor got busted, he committed suicide in his front yard. Then the lady who was married to him, who worked at the massage parlor, she went to court, and she's from China, and she had her hair like up in a bun on top of her head in a braid, and then a loop, a loop braid. I mean, this is just what I heard. And that her attorney was like, you need to take that down before court. You know, it looks ridiculous. And she started crying, and she was like, you don't understand my culture. Um, my culture means that this bun, braided bun on my head, means that I'm a grieving widow. So I found that interesting. I've just always remembered that story. Um, so if you do have to go to jail, I mean, sorry, if you do have to go to jail, then you have to go to court and you cannot have anyone or they will not allow clothes brought in for, in for you, then you go in shackles, chains, jumpsuit, and I have done that. And I did that in court in front of Gino and I was scared shitless. Um, it's just the, a very degrading um, way to go to court. Let's just say that. Um, but when I did have to see people like Laura and my dad, you know, it was horrible. I didn't even want, I didn't want them to see me like that. Like, I wasn't scared. I just did not want them to see me like that. Um, but if you are in jail, then you don't want to go to court. If you have to go in a jumpsuit, you don't want to go in one of those, like, yellow or orange ones that mean you got in trouble in jail, which that never happened to me even though everybody is always in tr trouble in jail for something and I understand things happen and people can get put in the hole or whatever and then they have to go to court. Well, if you go to court and you have on this different colored jumpsuit, it's going to mean that um, you were in some kind of trouble and it's going to be a, fl a red flag to the judge. So, yeah. Also, if you have, like, nose rings or anything like that, I would take those out before court. <laughs> um, and, no, I am not going to go to law school. I have made, I was telling a friend yesterday, I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've learned from those mistakes. And it's better than paying an attorney to lose and make the mistakes for me. Um, because that's where I'm at. So... Um, but yeah, I have toyed with going to law school different times in my life and, um, I'm 42 now. I'm not going to know law school and coming out an old woman as a young, fresh attorney out of law school because it is no fun for attorneys out of law school and I'm not starting my attorney career at retirement, but perhaps my journey will be able to help someone and somehow through all these things help happening to me I'll be able to help someone along the way have a good day I need to figure out what I'm wearing to court tomorrow and do my laundry immediately